Okay, this is sunspots rotating across the visible sun from February 2011 on YouTube. And we are going to watch them start to come. And they're going to be very consistent as they move across. And I think I fully understand why. All right, you see them pop up here? See? There, there. They just keep moving right along. And then all of a sudden another one pops up here and here. And they're very... Now, all of a sudden, look at all of that. You see that? You see each one of them is like surrounded on each one of those. It's almost like something's swirling around these things. Watch it very carefully. You see it? See them swirling around there? And it moves across. It moves across. Same thing happening here. Same thing happening here. Now, I have my take on this. And the sun they say is uh, a nuclear ball of this and that. Well, it's not. In my world, it is almost like the Earth, only it is huge. So it has a huge scrubbing effect as it flows through the universe. And here is what my take on the sun is. And this is, like I'm showing you this for a fact. The sun's surface, they, they have calculated 6,000 degrees. I'll take that. However, out here at the edge of the corona, it's millions of degrees. And the only possible reason is because it's scrubbing through this stuff, which is loaded with negative particles, and this is spitting out its, it's, it's huge negative mass, because everything is negative on its surface. Every single thing. There's nothing that it, every atom is coated with negative. So let's just get past that. Everything is negative. So that's a negative thing. We're all negative particles. It's spinning through those negative particles. That is what's called a generator. Now, it is exactly what a generator does. Identical. So what happens? We saw those little spots well up and then they got exactly the same and then they were like little islands onto themselves that's because there's mountains there's mountains on the sun they're coming around a mountain is stirring up the atmosphere under it creating huge magnetic loops those are the sun spots cools it down and you get these magnetic loop intensities flowing around all these spots sun spots and so forth and that's why you have millions of degrees out here, 6,000 degrees here. That's why they move in a pattern across, because they are mountains. The sun is very, very similar to us. Only it's just gigantic. Most people understand this is what a galaxy looks like, and they spin like this, and they claim they're probably a black hole at the center. I can't disagree with that. It's crushing matter inside. It's almost like a wrench crushing it. Now... We are out in one of these arms. Well, we're being ripped through space. So why couldn't we hit denser space or lighter space? There's no saying that. Why can't we smash into another one of these globs? There's no saying that. Is everything moving together at the same speed? Who knows? So anyway, here we go. All right, so you know I claim that there are mountains on the sun. And this is us being ripped through the galaxy on the arm of one of the arms of the Milky Way. So, everything's going this way. The sun is spinning like this. We're spinning like this, right-hand rule. The only one that's going backwards is Venus, and it is really, really hot because it is spinning backwards, scrubbing backwards. If you're at least turning to the right-hand rule, you're throwing electrons away from you. If you're spinning left and going forward, you're, you're gathering. And Venus is like us, only they're like eight or 900 degrees. Anyway, this is spinning going forward. And as the moons, I mean, as the mountains come up, they create the spots that go around. Now, why are they dark instead of brighter? Why could, well, they, because they are stirring up the atmosphere out there, way out, further than inside. They're creating these vortexes, these eddies around themselves. And in addition, they are creating these magnetic loops and so forth. Um, but this is my take. All right, this is the, basically what they're saying is almost one of the first ever shots of the North Pole of the Sun. And you can see there's not that much energy up there because it is spinning. And it's just like us, where our poles, the North and South Pole, 
they're they're cold because they they don't interact the way the equator and and that does scrubbing through space now this is my rendition of what happens as far as energy goes the sun the earth the moon and the sun is scrubbing through and creating these huge loops of so forth due to the mountains that are on the sun as it scrubs through space and it kicks out particles. Some of them are short like this. Some of them are, are, are very fast frequency like that. From the moon, it has re-radiated. You know, that's like light coming from the moon is re-radiated. So first it's got to hit this in these speedy frequencies. Then it comes back out of here in slow frequencies creating that red basically only. It can't get into these brilliant colors, the, you know, the bright colors. It just doesn't have the energy to do it because it's a re-radiating. So, basically that's what space is like. Now, what does this do? This is there everywhere, 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 everywhere. Everything that spits out particles that has, is scrubbing hard enough to create friction to scrub the particles out into space, that's what you get. And then everything else that goes through that has to deal with that soup. That's why we're warming up. I think I think we're hitting denser region in space. More particles, more scrub, more friction. More, and I'm seeing it. These steves, these uh, these emissions into space. That's not normal. And a lot of the things that I'm seeing indicate to me that we have more electrons in the atmosphere than we did before because I'm seeing a lot more concussions and I've been showing a lot of videos about this. It says, I don't think I'm making this up. Now these cameras can see a lot more than they could before but I'm still seeing things that indicate to me these emissions into space, sprites, steves, that's not normal. It's supposed to be coming this way. We have too many electrons here. They've got to get back out into space somehow. Apparently, that's what it looks like to me. And the only way we're going to have too many here is because we're pushing through too many. And if there's too many out there, I didn't put them there. You didn't put them there. They're just coming at us. There's nothing you can do about it as far as I know.